I see something. See donuts. Hi. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Alright. Chris, why are you bringing that right now? More um Is it just out here or in the back? Hi. Just here. Okay. How much for the record? Sydney? Yeah. He's asking you a question. How much for the record? Oh, well, let's see. Let's see what you got. She's mad at you. Yeah, how much you want for the box? Uh, I think we grow. I think we grow. Wait, no, you look a little younger than me. <laughs> but I think I was like, whoever had these grew up the same time I did. Right? <laughs> um, Alright, I'll take that. There's some. I don't want these mugs, obviously. Okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah. How much for the model? Do you know if it's, and can you ask her if it's complete? Uh, yes. Okay. You can open it. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I did open it. It's just the packaging's open, so. Oh, uh, um, How much I don't know. My sister said you can have for three bucks. She doesn't really know what it is. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so 13. Boy. Let me look. I just don't want this one to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't bite. I know, but <laughs> they buzz. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What you want for a stack of magazines and books and papers? With the whole box? No, I just want these. Just those? Yeah. Mm. I'll do seven. Or you want to pack it with that? Uh, Did you take 15 for everything? Yeah, Okay, right, cool. All right. Sounds good. Brooke, why am I just taking my shoe off ready to like try this little... Hi. Try these little... Oh, that's his. Sorry. <laughs> he just got all that. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with your move. Thanks. Have fun in Arizona. Thank you. All right.
see something. Is it what y'all see? I see something. Morning, sir. Hi. Hi. Good morning. How much for the quilt? About two dollars. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, our prices are dirt cheap. All right, you guys moving or cleaning? Actually, my, we moved my mother to assist. Oh, okay. How much you ask on the chair? Uh, about three dollars. Okay. And how much for that little thermos thing right there? Uh, two dollars. Uh, seven. Okay. much for this one? $2? Okay. Yeah, it, your only problem today is going to be it's going to be a scorcher. So Dollars. how much? Yeah. I'm Dollars. sweating already. <laughs> well, I make it $3 for all of it. So it's 12 bucks. Emma was very artistic, so was my mother. Was she a lefty? No, neither of those were lefties. Like, like the dolls in there. Right, the we'll just say 15. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thank you. No, thank you. I'm going to just make a couple trips, okay? okay. What's up, YouTube? C Donuts here again. Thanks for joining along on these last two garage sales. This is actually filmed on Sunday. I just wanted to go over some of the finds that we got here. First one was in Rancho Cucamonga. Comment down below what movie Rancho Cucamonga was in. One of my favorite franchises, uh, especially being from Southern California. But anyway, let's get into it. The first sale ended up being pretty amazing, but I didn't realize that till I got home and actually looked stuff up, which we'll get into in a little bit. So as you saw, I, I go and I see a vinyl record on the floor and it's a new edition. And I've actually stopped picking up vinyl records because I usually just come across folk and country, which, you know, obviously there's nothing wrong with that genre, but there's really no profit to be made on those old school ones. But the new edition is actually a band that I grew up listening to. So that piqued my interest. And then I look to my right and then I see a box start pulling out some. I was like, yeah, this is, this is an instant pickup. At the time I was thinking, okay, maybe three to seven bucks profit each, but it's gonna, it's, yeah, we'll get into it in a little bit. And I also picked up that model car, which I still don't know if it's complete. I don't know, I'll show you a comp for new condition. Mine is actually not used, but the packaging is open. So I don't know what I can sell it for, we'll see. And those papers, I just started rifling through it and I, I just picked out stuff that I'd be interested in and 
thought that might have some value. Some of it does, some of it doesn't. I listed some of that stuff, which I'll pop up here. Pretty interesting stuff. And some of the stuff has some really cool ads, like the old school ads. That was really fun to go through. So I paid 15 bucks for everything. I don't know my projected projected profit yet, but it was it was a cool score. And then the second sale, as I'm walking up, you heard it. Finally found a granny square afghan or quilt or whatever you want to call it. Two bucks. I'll pop up a comp here. Um, I did take pictures. I haven't listed it yet. So we're going on another vacation. Quick weekend getaway, which I'll upload a video to that too. So I asked if they're moving or cleaning which I always ask, I'll get into it in another video. They say that their mom is in assisted living and they're using these funds to help pay for that. So I kind of pulled on my heartstrings a little bit. And it was obviously handmade by her because this was like a, a crafter sale. And then I find that Igloo Thermos, I listed it as used even though it still had the stickers and the tag on the bottom. But here's the listing here. And then that chair, I really didn't want to pick that up, but I was like, hey, you know, might as well see how much they're gonna ask me. I wanted, what, two, three bucks for it. Maybe list it for 40 bucks plus shipping, but that thing is not gonna be fun to ship for sure. And then let's see, I found another quilt. I guess they call it a 3D, 3D quilt. I, I really don't know what that's gonna go for but should be more than two bucks, the two bucks that I paid for it. Then some little stuff, I picked up some sterling silver spoons. I picked up a perfumed oil lamp. I think it's more house decor, but I already listed that as well. I spent a total of 15 bucks there as well. Hopefully make some good profit, which I know I will eventually. So let's get into the actual vinyl records. All right guys, just thought it'd be appropriate to showcase these vinyl records on our digital vinyl record player. It's actually a combo. It plays CDs, Bluetooth, actually plays cassette tapes too. Radio obviously. Yeah. So first things first we got a what is this? A Junior Mafia final record fe featuring Aaliyah. Obviously the condition of all these records aren't that great or as the sleeves but Young Jeezy, let's get it. It's a good term, right? Let's get it. They shug it. Boombastic, yeah. Oh yeah, ODB, old dirty bastard. 90s, gotta love it. Shimmy shimmy ya. I know you guys know that song. Oh, I know you guys know who this is. Sir Mix-a-Lot, I'm a trip. For some reason there was two of these in here. There's two. Keep one, sell one. Here we go. This is the one that was seen for sure. New edition. This is pretty cool, I guess. This is uh, Beats, Breaks, and Scratches. Probably for DJs. You got The Wiz, The Musical. That's cool. Ooh, I know you know who this is, Method Man. Bring the pain. Gotta love that. Criss Cross, gonna make ya, but this is not the song. I believe this is just a single, yeah. Criss Cross. We have a Rap's Greatest Hits. I guess it's a compilation. Got Bobby Brown, Don't Be Cruel. Look at that. I don't know if you can hear the excitement in my voice, but this is so cool. Here's another new addition when they were younger, a little bit, I guess. Yeah, we got Cool It Now, Mr. Telephone Man, Lost in Love. Whatever happened to slow jam mixtapes? I miss that. When you like a girl, you make them a slow jam mixtape. Oh yeah! Montel Jordan, this is how we do it. I, whenever I think about this song, I think about uh, Step Brothers and Will Ferrell's rendition of it. The two best finds, Little Shop of Horrors. This really surprised me. It's a vinyl record of the soundtrack. 
I believe I believe this is a first print. But I don't know for sure. Finally, the best find in this box, which you saw was Karate Kid. The soundtrack. Records in pretty decent condition. Fun fact about Karate Kid that that scene where him and Ali were in front of the water slide, that was actually filmed maybe 30 minutes from here at a place called Golf and Stuff in Downey, California, which I'll show you one of these days if I ever make it down there, if gas prices ever drop. So yeah, thanks for joining me. And don't forget to All right, thanks for joining. Catch you on the next one. Stay hustling. And don't forget to subscribe to see donuts. Thank you. Bye.